Ryan, everybody, it is an emergency podcast time. We are live, and it is the DNVR Rapids podcast. Thank you guys so much for coming in. We are, of course, presented by Ivaca TV. We got the full round table discussion going today, guys, because the news we thought could be coming in came in. Uh, Bogart with the report saying that Mark Anthony K. The Canadian son is headed to Toronto FC to reunite with Michael Bradley and um, Boo. Bob Bradley, Bob Bradley. Uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's official. We thought some moves were going to come. We thought that if, it, if they were waving the white flag uh, and it looks like uh, Rapids man is on top of the dick, just doing some of this waving that white flag, baby. It is. Uh, well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll kick it around. Um, Wanners, Wanners Week continues. I'm joined by Wanners FC. Thank you for being here, bud. Hello, everyone. Thanks again for having me. The news broke, and I was like, "Do you need one more person to talk about this?" Because I, I think we need to talk. I think I need to talk about this more so than anything else. <laughs> I got three. I got three messages of a similar variety, and Wanners was in on it first. So sorry, everybody. Uh, I'm also joined by the art director and DNVR Rapids homie. Invisible Labs. It's downtown Dwayne Brown, baby. Dwayne, welcome back. What's up? Good to be back. Is it? Is this what we want to be back for? We'll find out. We'll find out in a sec. We'll find yeah. out what you think. You know, I've, I've, been, I've been feeling this since day one. So, and of course, the the incomparable superest of super producers. Yeah, here G Vasquez, my guy. I re- I really thought you were gonna say the incompetent, and I'm like, yes. <laughs> No comment. No comment. No comment. Uh, Water, since you are, since you're, since you're back for the week, we'll we'll kick it with you first. Um, you were booing as I read off that report. Uh, so, oh, I, mean, I was booing Bob Bradley. Not. Uh, oh yeah, I mean that's the fact that he's gone. <laughs> you're, not, you're not alone there. Um, <laughs> all right, all right. Um, so it sounds like a a million in him, right? Uh, a international slot. A um, the their first round super draft pick and a prospect and I'm blanking on the prospect's name. Do you have it there in front of you, Wanners? Ralph Prizo. Ralph Prizo. Okay. Well, tell me your your first initial gut reaction to this trade when you saw it come through Twitter. Uh, well, it's funny. I kind of learned about the trade uh, beforehand, before Twitter. We won't get into why, how I figured it out, but <laughs> um. I Please think, do, Juaners. Let us know how you, you know. Well, I, I called up my source, Rapid Man. He told me um, it, it pays to have sources in the club like Rapid Man tell you everything. But no, uh, what <laughs> happened uh, – I don't, don't have sources. That's not true. What happened was I I was kind of happy that, uh, that Mac was gone. I was uh, maybe even thrilled because, um, you know, last year – when we signed, when we went for him, we traded for him. It was, I thought it was a good deal. I thought it was a good kind of acquisition to make. Um, you kind of had the midfield of Price, uh, Kellen Acosta, and now Mac. And that midfield three never clicked. Like Mm-mm. even Mm-mm. into the postseason, it never really, it never really like came to fruition. And then of course, Kellen Acosta went for reasons. Uh, for more complicated reasons that most Rapids fans won't know about, but um, Mac was supposed to be the guy. Um, he he was the the highest profile player on the team, and you know he's had some good performances in there. But when you're the high profile guy, you need to be lights out every single game, and I don't think he was. And so to see him to see him gone, I'm not gonna miss him. I I I think yeah. he just didn't work in the system. And part of that is on uh, Robin. Part of that's also on Mac, just because you know he didn't, you know he didn't perform to what we thought he was going to be. I think you know be- the beginning of the season in a press conference uh, during the CCL matchup with with Communicaciones, he's he called himself one of the best midfielders in the yeah, MLS. I remember I think, that, and I think I talent that. wise, I think talent wise, I think it's possible, but. Uh, the game tape says otherwise, and, and I think that's true since he got here last July. And I and I think outside of a couple 
good moments. I mean, he definitely had a few good moments this season. He did not have, I wouldn't call one a, a graded game so far this season, um, maybe last week's, but for the most part, he hung out in that B range and just kind of underperformed and Dwayne from, from minute one, you weren't into the move. So you're probably actually feeling pretty relieved. I'm, I don't know if I'd say relieved. Um, sure. It's, I, I just think I've, I've never felt like Mac was a long-term rapid. Um, right. And it didn't go quite as long as I thought it was going to go. This is a little earlier than I thought, but I saw the news obviously surprising in the sense that the news broke, but for me, not surprising. Um, first of all, you know, put it out there. Mac is very good, right? Yes. Uh, so this is not me saying <laughs> that is Mac's not, he's a bum. Get him out of here. Uh, very good um, soccer player. What can be. Can be. Um, I, I think his value, <laughs> as you were just saying, Mitchell, uh, I think maybe he overvalues himself. Uh, and, uh, you know, I think we have the tape to show that from the season. But, but my thing is like, you know, outside of the skill set, Mac has never really felt like a rapid. And, and what I mean by that is, is I've, I've never gotten the sense from him that he's all in on the Colorado Rapids. And I think he was very disappointed to be moved here from California. And, you know, when I was trying to learn more about him as a player, you know, um, I'll look at stats, but I'll also go into, you know, Twitter and social media accounts and stuff and just kind of see what the personality is. And I check like every couple of months, I'll go back and I'll check his account. We were talking before the show uh, where I was trying to hop back on his uh, Twitter account again. If you go through that dude never talks about the Rapids. He yeah. talks yeah. about Ellen all the time. Um, you know, his pin stuff is never about the Rapids and um, it, not that he's saying bad thing. He's also not saying anything bad about the Rapids. It's just that, uh, you know, it, it, can't wait to get back to LA. We'll see you soon. You know? And I'm just like, okay, right. Cool. right. I mean, that's like, like the opposite of what you want to see from a car. Yeah. I want to see somebody like, who's you do not want to see LA. You don't want to see LA all the time from your athletes, yeah, especially right. you guys who are supposed to be mainstays on the roster. Um, I profile and, player is what I say. He, he treats himself high like a high. Player. Yes. He yeah. treats himself like it, but then you get to like w- three goals this season, seven shots on target. It's July. I think it's two. Two goals. I, I think he, oh, and, and an assist maybe. Maybe it's three total goal contributions, seven shots on target, something like that. Um, I'm looking it up, fact checking, but yes. Fact checking. That's why Warners <laughs> is here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, like- well, yeah, yeah. You're a, you were a pretty hard Mac believer, am I right? Yeah, I believed in Mac, but I'm happy for this trade. I think okay. it's overdue. They should have happened. I like that. Back. What? Why? What, what's the happy from? Uh, I'm happy that I kind of feel like this team finally has a direction. Mm-hmm. They have. They know what they're gonna do for this window and what they're gonna do for this year. Yes. Which kind of puts me at ease, knowing that okay, they know what's gonna happen, they know what they want, and that it's not gonna work. It makes me think that this team has a direction and they have a way they want to play and they have a style they want to do. And it just wasn't working. And now I feel happy that they're like, okay, I'm willing. We spend money on this guy. I'm willing to turn around and flip him for whatever I can get. Although it was, I think, a really good haul. Flip, flip him and do what you got to do to uh, play the way you want. Get the team you want. Get the style you want. Uh, to further uh, Dwayne's point, Logan F brings up in the comments. He'll never forget when Mac left the Rapids. Away supporters hanging at the LAFC game, away game last year, but spent like 30 minutes with old LA friends. Um, and I was at that game, so I can vouch that. I can say, of course, Logan, like I'm with you on that. It wasn't Logan, just Mac, my it wasn't just Mac though, it was also Beta Shore. Uh, but that's beside the point. Uh, uh will you pull up <laughs> B Ray's comment? Will you pull up B Ray's comment above him? To me, the, the natural move is you still need to go get a midfielder now. There's no one on roster I would feel comfortable. I got that I would feel comfortable filling in this role. Blessing to me has come up in a few rapids chats. I've had different groups. Uh, I, it makes a lot of sense. He wants out of LA. Is this a move, Wanders, that you would want to see to fill that Mac 
void on the roster. I now. mean, we were talking about it yesterday of players to go and get. Yeah. And and you mentioned blessing, and I think that'd be a, a positive move. But I like Ralph Prizo. And I think Alan here yeah. says I think Prizo could be better than Mac for the Rapids starting tomorrow. I 100 percent sign that. Alan, that's honestly, some spice, my guy, I like it. That that is some spice. But listen, anyone, <laughs> I, I, as an avid fan of the league, as an av- as an avid better, as someone that watches MLS all the time, I can point to Prizo being a solid player. Um, so a uh, Prizo it is, I think. Works is familiar with Robin um, and mm-hmm. young guy uh, definitely on the fringes of the he's he's a mainstay in the U20 can, Canadian national team. Uh, but I, I think there's a lot of upside in Prizo. Uh, he okay. can only go up. He's already um, valued at a million dollars at just 19 years old. So you're talking about a project player to build around. Uh, but you now have Max and you have Prizo as well. But I think Prizo has got that like dog that. in him as we talk yeah. about it. <laughs> But um, well, besides that, it, if we go for blessing, I'm not mad. I'm not mad if we go for blessing. It's a different style. Well, Prizo's more of a Prizo's more of an eight rather than a ten. Yeah. Well, I think he's a DM, which is okay. Yeah. I think he's a DM six ish or eight ish. Um, he like eight ish is fine. Both. Yeah. yeah, he's like around there. Hey, a little yeah. further up the comments, Yaya, will you put uh, Joseph here? Because I kind of want to talk about this. He says, "Our boy Joseph Samuelson, shout out, uh, tireless." Rapids blogger he says, I told you guys a rebuild was coming like a week ago. I don't know that this move screams rebuild. I think it is a culture changer. I think there's a lot of talent on this roster without Mac. Um, there's a lot of injuries. There's been underperformance, but I do think this is like, Hey, this is a guy that's supposed to be the guy and he's not doing it for us. So, so we're shipping him one direction and you know, people need to be ready for moves. I don't. I don't view this as negative. Yeah, yeah. Do you? Do you feel that way? Do you feel like a rebuild is is imminent? Uh, I don't think it's a rebuild. I think it's a restructure. But I think it's kind of signaling the end of the year. I think they don't believe they can come back. I really think that because they did sign Mac to an extension. That extension was because they yeah, saw him as for a next centerpiece season. For this yeah, yeah, team. yeah. Exactly. They saw him as a centerpiece. If they don't see him at a centerpiece, and centerpiece, he's a very good player. They don't see him a centerpiece this year. That means that they're just kind of like, hey, you know what? Hopefully we can sh- uh, turn things around, but we're not banking on it, and let's hope that we can get that far. Well, Interesting. I saw uh, Juan's face. I want to know what Juan thinks. Like, there, yeah, Juan or, Juan or there's, there's also rumblings I've heard. I don't know if it's true, of course. This is all very <laughs> much like – <laughs> Inside too. The Yasolina is him. Yeah. Uh, besides that, though, <laughs> I, I will say it's expensive really out here. The Yasolina's at record prices right now, man. Inflation. I, I, up, bro. I will say that. I, I will say though, like just comparatively to what uh, Dwayne was saying about him not being a Rabbits player, in the sense of like being here and being present and being uh, uh like you know a team player there was rumblings and i can't confirm or deny them uh that he was being but you will tell them to the entire (laughs) but i will tell them (laughs) i I don't know the validity but apparently he was causing locker room troubles i believe it i believe it point you know he didn't want to be here i'm telling you yeah and nothing indicates to me to believe otherwise you know i can totally you can totally sell me i could tell you totally sell you on the fact that he didn't want to be here if he doesn't want to be here that's not the kind of you know team that the Rapids are. They're, they've always been a uh, a team above, like a, no one's above the team. Um, and so, if Mac thought he was above the team, he's out. That's that's kind of as simple as it goes for culture, culture setting, culture. Like this is the tone of the Rapids. Dwayne, you've been. A... That this, oh no, I will say that this whole move, um, whether it's a positive or negative, it all depends what they do from here and who they replace them with. Like we're gonna see if it was real. If he was really one of the reasons that this locker room has been divided, or if maybe this team just doesn't have it this year. If they make another move, let's say for blessings, are you gonna feel better about this team? Yes, exactly. Absolutely. But if but if they don't make a move and they just roll with the roster, are you gonna feel good about this team? Honestly, Mac, dude, Mac, and this goes Mac back didn't. to what I was saying earlier. Mac was not that big of an impact guy on the field. He wasn't, but he was talented. Like even on Fourth of yeah, July, but that he had doesn't... a great game. Cool. Fourth of July, he had a great game, and they were close to winning. Of the guys. James Harden That's... was talented and was terrible for the Nets last year. What is that like? He... 
You know what I mean? Like, it, sometimes it just happens. Like, talent doesn't always perform. Talent doesn't always have the impact it should. And I don't, like, whatever. If you don't replace him, you don't replace him. I don't think we're missing, you know, Joseph I saw on Twitter say something that, like, he's, like, 15% of the goals. But, like, it's only three goals, man. Like, we'll find someone else to score three goals and not commit hard to defense. Like, that's not, like, that hard to find. I also don't want to hear I told you so from Joseph because he was the first guy to buy Jazzy's artist uh, shirt when I tell when I you know, <laughs> ex- repeatedly say it wasn't going to work. And so if there's any I told you so's to be handed out, it's me to to Joseph. You should have never bought that Zardes jer- jersey, man. Oh no, <laughs> no, this is not a Zardes pod. That was Thursday. Yeah. Okay, I know. Uh, I'm just Dwayne, saying. Dwayne. I'm just saying. Dwayne, in your opinion, so we're saying that you never really felt like a rapid, and you've been a season ticket holder for six years, probably like eight long years time? now. Eight years. Ish. What, like, what do you? So, like, let's say, I'm trying to like kind of contextualize this with other players. Like, in the past, on these teams that you've watched, like, who have you seen that you say embodies that the most? Like, like, what was missing from Mac that you've seen in player oh. X? Um, I mean, I think it's just behavior, whether it's on social or like Logan was saying, like, you know, walking away from, you know, supporters groups in a way situation is bad form, man. Yeah. Like it's, that's not great. You know, I mean, as, as far as like, man, who, who is a great rapid, that's a great question. Um, you know, I mean, as far as like the the current squad, you know, like or even just I mean, in the last think, few years, yeah. I mean, I think Jack, you know, yeah. obviously as the captain, he does a great job. That's part. He's of his, the first guy that comes to mind for me. Yeah, for he's, sure, he's, Jack. He's, yeah, it's part of his responsibility as Cole, the, probably, the, yeah, the club to do that. So, I mean, obviously, he does a, a good job. <laughs> no. Drew Moore, obviously, he's a, a lifer. Lawless is a great, Lawless is great, great. I, I first guy that came to my mind was Connor Casey. That's a good one too. Connor I mean, Casey yeah. is a good, you know, uh, <laughs> Lavoster, and even though he's not at Real Salt Lake, you know, I can't say now, but the in his first in his first round with the Rapids, um, Irwin uh, was really great with the fans. Um, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> That's all we want, yeah. man. We all just want to like, take our level. <laughs> There's a lot of yeah. honesty dropping right now in the comments, and I and I love to see it. <laughs> so. You're you're right though, man. Like Mac was never the guy to clap fans off, or like, or maybe mm-hmm. if he did, you know, it felt very forced. It felt, uh, yeah. you know, I I wasn't and at the okay. and that's okay if you're putting up results, right? Yeah. Fans don't fans don't care if if you're winning and you're and you're getting it done. You well, know, if he's a game changer, a nice bonus, that know. as well. He's not a game changer. I mean, he mm-hmm. was a like let's not let's not get it twisted. He was a solid player. He you know didn't have like a clear cut role beat. on the team, yeah. but that's not what you want out of a player you spent a million for lat just last year. And so yeah. if 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 he was Cole Bassett, uh, uh, a low end uh, you you know you twenty twenty two. Uh, prospect that's putting in solid work, we'd be getting solid value. But the amount we paid for him, the amount we were paying him, and it just it's not been it's not been up to par to what we wanted from him. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, it's ooh, yo, for real. Jermaine Jones, love that guy. No, he Kevin. didn't. No, he didn't. I'm with Wanners no, on that 100. percent He was still living in LA when he was here. He played eight games. <laughs> I love Jermaine Jones. I will not take any Jermaine Jones on my podcast. I, Thank I you love him very too, much. He, he didn't, he didn't. <laughs> I, will say, I will say Mac. He was not a rapid him. player. I will Go ahead, say about yeah, yeah. Mac. And like, yeah. He always felt like he was too big for Colorado. He always felt like he should have been at a bigger market. I'll agree with that. He, I. He's, he's not good like, enough to think that. Sorry, keep he's going. He's not, keep but going. he thought he was. Like <laughs> you, like true though. Like he's completely right. Like you thought Kellen Acosta completely embraced the Burgundy way. Like he, Kale, you, he like you could see like maybe this is not his ideal situation. But he but also he had a chip on his it. shoulder. He also should've came met, with either? something to prove. He should have, but he did exactly didn't. he did it, and like that's why he like he always felt like he felt Mac kind of. I know, I know, I know nothing about him. 
I know nothing about Mac. I've never talked to the guy. But B- he kind of egotistical. Like, Pull up B-Ray's like, like, comment. He had no dog. <laughs> and, and that's why he wasn't he wasn't in my thread of players that got that dog in him. Is it dog or dog? No. I don't, I don't, you, you gotta use that little dog. dog. Mark's comments he, great too. Man. And I really do want to talk about this. If you you're a professional athlete, you're getting paid a good salary. You're getting paid a lot of money. You have endorsement time. You are featured in your national team to show a complete lack of pride in your club work because you're in Denver and not LA or Toronto or New York. Like it's it's. It's soft. It's so soft. It's bro. soft. It's and that's they, the word. And, and that's the word because he never showed the dog, man. It's like you you called yourself one of the best midfielders in the MLS. You said that this season, and I have not seen him take over one game, one game. Tell me one say, signature Mac moment or game that is like, man, remember that Mac? I, blank there's one, but it was set up by Galvan. The the exactly. The last- into go into the Mac header was his best moment in Burgundy. That was last year. This yeah. year, there's no Acosta. Nothing. Zero. Yeah. You are the guy in the midfield. Yep. And nothing to show for it. Even his uh-huh. his goals that he scored were sort of kind of fluke ish. I would also yeah. say, like I don't know it. It's been a they minute since he's really been been someone in on this team. I will say the biggest loss the Rapids got from this trade and Mac no longer being on the team is they have no representation in the World Cup now. That's the biggest loss they have. Like, if you think about it, that's literally the only thing they won't be able to regain from anything. Like, uh, you won't be able to look at the World Cup and say, like, get Lingard in Burgundy, let's go! I, I, is I, Lingard I, even on the screen? No, no, probably not. Say, probably, I, not. Like, probably not, I don't know. Don't care. I, th- I think everyone's going to enjoy uh, World Cup regardless of whether it is. A no, Death. It is. no, 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 no. This is not Shades of Carmelo Anthony. Carmelo Anthony was Tyler like an Shady. all NBA, like close to leading the league in scoring dominant force who just didn't want to be here. This is I a guy who's who's also this. not very good and doesn't want to be here. <laughs> I, I think he's I good, man. This. He's I, has talent, but he wasn't good. Like there's a difference. Like he has talent. What? Okay. He wasn't good for the Rapids this season. I can't, like I I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. I thought he started the season. I thought he was a decent player for the Rapids. I wasn't right. he was a bad player. I think he was a decent player. I think he did the minimum of what he had to do to pass the bar. What, what are you going to say, Dwayne? I th- I think moving on, he he is going to be as good as he values himself when he gets out of Colorado. <clears throat> yep. Because I really do think he's that good. Um, God, it makes me. It's so just mad. that he, you know, it, it's like you know, it's like it's like a regular job, right? You have motivation and you have skills, right? Yeah. And if you if you have all the skills in the world but no motivation, it doesn't matter, right? But you can mm-hmm. coach that up, you know. If if you're someone who who needs skills you know it, it, it's hard to do that but this guy has got the skills but he's got to have that motivation to do that and i think where you know now that he's heading back home he's he's going to be that guy and it's going to be another shin Yashiki where we're like oh man that kind of sucks yeah uh, but it is no, what it is you know no, and hopefully no. the return is going to be someone who wants to be here and gives us what we needed out of his position because he wants to get that from him. I, I want to Wonders, say, give me that. an over under, give me an over under. What, I mean, does he score over three and a half goals the rest of the season for Toronto? Uh, under, because uh, the fact is um, I, I do kind of agree with Dwayne in, in that he's going to be motivated now to be the guy somewhere, but it's not going to be with Toronto. I think uh, you look at Toronto and this is, this is far from just like yeah, uh, uh, an evaluation of of just the Nuggets. Uh, sorry, the Rapids. Now, this is an evaluation of Toronto under Bob Bradley. Bob Bradley was the first guy that you know he he didn't fight for the Mac trade when it happened. He he Mac was traded under Bob Bradley, and so if Bob Bradley sent Mac to Colorado and he, only to get him back, it's going to be a, a little awkward, but. Bob yeah. Bradley and Osorio are not a good midfield. I still think the Rapids midfield with Jack Price paid with anyone else. I, even if it's Acosta, even with even if it's Ralph Prizo, even if it's Max, I think Price does Yo, Max, do a Max lot. Cook, 
I, I think Price does a lot for the midfield that people don't give him credit for. And he's had kind of a regression this year. But um, just give Price a very good defensive mid that's going to win the ball back, that's going to be scrappy, and let Price be the deep-line playmaker that sets up plays like the wingers, like the strikers, like whatever 10 is here or however we decide to play. But overall, I think Mac is going into – and this is to, to kind of ease Mert here because I know he doesn't want to hear that you know Max going to be a good player <laughs> elsewhere but he's joining a bad he's joining a bad organization Toronto are yeah. terrible they're spending and splashing all this oh, cash and it's not yeah, it's bad. not gonna they're work bad. my my thing with this and and for Mac I understand the move Canada Canadian national team is as good as they will probably ever be right now we don't I mean they could get better but like for sure this is the best they've ever been could be the peak and as the face of that, I understand feeling a little hidden away in Denver and not, you know, you already have Davies playing in, in Bayern and, you know, you can go now be the face of the club, the most of the most successful club in Canada and also the Canadian and help become the face of that Canadian national team. So I, I understand wanting to get to Canada uh, and Toronto specifically as like a metropolis, big city uh, can go kick it with Drake or I'm sure Drake's now a big uh Toronto fan um but uh you know I mean let's talk about this now because tomorrow is oh god fuck sorry Dev's comment really freaked me out um <laughs> uh tomorrow is one of the biggest <laughs> games remaining on the yeah. schedule man it is it, it is the biggest game we can have in Rio Tinto and you're now down a talented albeit underperforming midfielder Dwayne, who do you expect to see fill in that hole? I I think Dev's on the money. Like oh, I think we're gonna I God. think we're gonna see Warner. I think you know I mean Fraser Fraser likes Warner, so I, I could I could easily see that. Um, Rip twenty twenty two. Yeah, but but <laughs> Fraser also wrong, likes Prezo. I mean I think that's Does what he? his signal is is they've accepted it. You know. The Rapids have accepted the situation that they put themselves in with this move. Um, that's what it is. So, you know, how do we take the rest of the season and 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 make it something good? And I mean, like every Rapids fan, I mean, a win this weekend is would be it's first as good of all, as a cup at this point. First yeah. of all, shocking. Uh, but second of all, would be the biggest win of the season. Like I could almost deal with the rest of however the season goes as long as we win. <laughs> hey, Brian, just on a quick note, Brian, he's your problem now, bud. <laughs> um, <laughs> I agree with you, though. This win is now everything. Like this Rocky Mountain Cup is your MLS Cup. It's your playoffs. It's It is your everything because winning doesn't, Losing kind of ends the season. Winning doesn't make the season a success, but it gives you a huge cup win. It gets the supporters back behind you, and it keeps it's the, the hope alive. It keeps the hope inject, of playoffs alive. Yeah, yeah, you veins. seemed pretty down about tomorrow's game yesterday when the three of us were talking. Does this move, do you think, if it was a, Ross, a locker room problem, do you think, do you feel better about this team going into Rio Tinto? Worse? Same? What do I'm you think? Actually, I'm completely flipped. I think they're winning tomorrow. They're winning tomorrow. Oh! They're winning tomorrow. Thank oh, you. So, Thank so you. the one reason is because I think they've lights a fire under everybody's ass in that locker room. We should. And yeah, it's like, should. hey, this was supposed to be a centerpiece. This is the guy that you guys were going to build around uh, around a little bit. Yeah. Him and now, on. Go win without him. And yeah, yeah. It's like, now, yeah, if you want to keep your job, real. if you want to stay here, you're gonna have to win. And what's what's the first test? Go into Rio Tinto and kick some Salt Lake ass. That's Let's gonna go. be the way to do it. So I think they be win Ray, tomorrow guy. because it just changes the mentality of the team. It gives the team a little um. I've I've been talking <laughs> about this for the last week or so. I've talked about it for like what last week or so, where it's like you need <laughs> Yasolina all the way. Throw up these Yasuli in the comments. You guys rule, man. Like, Mark Logan, you get it, man. So like, just, pull up like, Kevin's. Just, pull up Kevin's too while you're there. Uh, Barrios just like the Rapids post oh, about sending Mac to Toronto. Let's Mikey B, my guy. Mikey B. 
this is the thing I'm talking about. Like, this will light a fire under everybody's ass. It, I did, like, you, we kind of had a feeling that he was a lock, locker room problem. Juan yeah. kind of confirmed it a little bit, not saying who he told him. But it's like, it wasn't just me and Mitch talking about it. It wasn't just me and No Mitch. one told me that. Mitch what are you anyways. talking about? No, no. <laughs> you, no but everybody knows Juan. now, baby. Nobody told Juan. <laughs> we know nothing about this. You can rewind the podcast that's, if you want. That's the rumor on the grapevine. No one told me that. I may or may not have heard it is what I'm Sources saying. say, dude. Dreams. Somebody Dreams. had to tell you for it to be a rumor. Okay. Sources say. Whether, whether they're important or not, it doesn't matter. But yeah. you kind of had that feeling that there was something wrong with this team. There was a mentality issue. I kept saying, get rid of everybody and play the kids or bring up the kids and tell them, hey, we're get, somebody's going to push for your job. This is another way to do it, to light that fire, to get everybody to understand that the season is still going, that and- there needs to be a mentality change. I really do think that part of it's like, well, we need to get rid of Mac. And I do feel like it's them throwing the towel a little bit because they tried so long to make it work. It's been a, a, a not, not even a calendar year. year. Not even yes, a calendar year. But it's but they tried it. They could have got if they if he was really that big of a problem, they could have got it in the winter. Yeah, they definitely so did they try. Tried. Uh, they tried. So they tried. That's my thing. So dude, he's a front runner, that- dude. It was probably fine when they were the one seed. It was probably great because it can't well, not know, be great when you're the one seed. I feel like the, I don't, I don't feel like it has anything to do with losing. I feel like I think it has. I, everything to do with losing i don't because yep. i'm doing that since he showed up this guy has felt like he's too big for colorado he hasn't embraced the brigandy way that's right no, no no you're right about that i'm not you're not wrong about that but when i asked runners like what's the signature moment he pointed to a great goal he had last season right because when things are good mac is going to try harder he's gonna he's gonna try and show out he's gonna get himself in better position he's gonna work harder on defense and when you're losing, this guy is clearly about the brand and about himself, and he doesn't want to be on the wrong end of a sports center highlight where he is giving up a goal and pouting around and losing. He's just going to kind of stand out of the year, way. And But last year, he wasn't that great either. We're like, oh, it takes time for him to acclimate. He yeah. wasn't that That one signature moment was how uh, Juan said, because of Galvan. Galvan yeah, no created yeah, that. Yeah, it was all Galvan. And, and Galvan. Mac just – Took advantage of that last. I know, week. Dwayne. You're right. So that's what I'm He's, saying. Like, I love him so much. Like, I, I just back. think that they tried, and I feel like part of them is our thinking. Hey, we don't have a lot of hope for this season. Let's try to sell high on Mac. Let's totally, try to sell because totally. they did. They sold high, but they're also thinking, hey, this might also change the locker room, and sure. we might have something for this year. And here's another so, thing: uh, the team, the way it's been now, is not been good. We've said that for ye- for like m- weeks now. That this team yours is, has, is also accurate. I, but yeah. yeah, that was. That <laughs> really that <laughs> We've been saying for weeks now, someone's got to like step up, or it's gonna cl- gonna have to click somewhere. I don't mind the organization being like, "All right, no one's clicking on the roster. Make some damn changes, okay?" And everyone's saying, "Oh, we're punting for 2022." Maybe because you no. lost. Maybe because you lost a high-profile player, but not not to inspire the changes that have to happen in order for us to to actually be a good team. Because for once, for when they brought in Zardes, I thought that wasn't you know that wasn't a move to really move the needle. This is a this is a change to move the needle because I think you have to light a fighter under these people's under the players' asses and then let them know that hey, like. Well, you you can be anyone. You can be Mark Anthony K. You can be Kellen Acosta. No matter what, we need results. Yes. We need them yes. now. And I think this is enough of a change now in the locker room to inspire that change. All right, we're gonna end it on this. Based on, I did like this comment from Alan. I agree. Long term, hopefully this is it. Him and Price can kind of coexist, holding we down the back of that defense. Young nasty men. Uh, young. <laughs> All right. To go along with Warner's question, nice. I want each one of you guys to answer this. We'll kind of end it here. Based on this. Dwayne, I want to start with you. Whose ass will have the largest fire under it? Who's going to feel this the most? What's the most? Who's going to show out tomorrow and in the two home games next week the most because this move happened? I mean, my answer is going to be the same. and Not, not from a negative mm-hmm. fire, just from a pumped up let's go fire. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm 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 going with Barrios every time. Mikey like, B, I know, B, I know, B, I know, I know nothing. He's like that dude's not producing, and and no, he awesome. doesn't have the numbers. But that dude plays, man. Like he really he, does. 
He's he a gamer. Just, he is the truth. And it's uh I just I think I think he's gonna continue to show that. Love it. Yeah, yeah. Who you got? Most lit ass. I was gonna say Barrios. Post train. I'm gonna I'm gonna go. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's I'm go gonna, Barrios. Uh, I was gonna go Barrios, but he took it, so I'm probably gonna go uh, either Sardis or Rubio. Probably Sardis, because like ooh, he was the big acquisition. Water's nemesis. So I think he will have a big. <laughs> he's gone what now? Two months without scoring in the run of play. It happens tomorrow twice. Exactly, but that's what I'm saying. Like I think he'll have the biggest fight in his ass because now it's like they're make uh, Zardis. He he hasn't Jaffy. scored since from from the run of play. Got here. Yeah, like since he got Warners, here. Since this what, is not the months? time or place for this. I'm just <laughs> saying, like, he hasn't at all, but it's been like what two months since he's been with since We since said the Brace Bros tomorrow. Brace bros. April, just saying, bro. April. April. Okay, so two and a half Brace months. Brace bros. Brace so bros. I'm just saying, like, he hasn't scored in the run of play in two and a half months. And it's just saying, like, it's it time for him to do something. And it's gonna it's, he's gonna have a fire in his ass because there was a big move and he was the big addition. Now there's a big subtraction. And he's gonna feel that pressure. Love it, Waters. Who you got? Quick. Um, I will say that um, in instances like this, the team will rise up to the occasion, and it'll be a collective effort from everyone. Love it. Boo. Love it. Shit. Boo. No, I love it. Love it. Boo. I hate Everybody's that. In. I love hate it. that. Be a man. Say something. Say a player. Say a name. You don't gotta give an explanation. Just say a name. Um. Player the map performance from who? Okay, there Yar, bro. Yarby. 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 He's gonna, he's gonna have three goals tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Yarby scoring a header to win it all. Man, my favorites are already all taken. You know who I think this helps the most, probably, and and <laughs> it's someone who I thought. <laughs> We oh will make that into a show. Ben, how long is, how long have you been writing that joke? That is gold. <laughs> um, I mean, you guys nailed it. I do think tomorrow. I think I think the the guy that needs to have the game needs to be needs to be oh captain, my captain, Mr. Jack Price. Um, he's not. He's out. Not oh, he is. He's still out. He's not playing tomorrow. I thought he was back. Playing. All right, we'll scrap I that. I changed him to Costa. Another when, player, when no, Mark Anthony sale, K has to be good tomorrow. Mark Anthony K has to be good tomorrow. Has to be good tomorrow. Sale, he, he was walking very gingerly. So. And that was, what, Saturday? So, yeah, okay. Yeah, um, man, that's I, a bummer. He's been fun. really hurt. I thought for sure he would be back. Um, man, that yeah, so Yarby is the right answer. But uh, since Wander's already took him, I'm going to say... Wilson. Well, I, Keegan, I, I think bes- bes- my besides boy. that, it, it, it's not a player. My it's, sweet it's Robin. Georgetown Prince. Ooh, Robin. 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 Oh, Robin's, a good one. Robin's oh, gotta have. God, I can't believe I didn't think game of, that. Good job. of the year. Because if Robin can come out here and say, "We don't need Trusty. We don't need Mac. This is the Rapid Bye. Squad, and this is who we are, and we win Rocky Mountain Cup," then that's the ultimate vibes. Like you know. Everything I'm, about this team and the I'm vibes. Calling it right, I'm back. calling it right now. Tomorrow, 89th minute goal from Yaya Tor. It comes in as a t- last 10 minute sub, 2 1 Rapids win. It's yeah, out of the right. fucking blue, but I'll take it. I'm in double. I'll like, bet you that Rapids doesn't win. happen. I, I know I it won't happen, but I'm like, any amount I'm of money it. you could I'm ever put it. together for that. That would be the ultimate Rapids way. <laughs> Bring up a young kid, develop your kids, and that's how they win the game at Rio Tinto. My guy B Ray celebrated tomorrow if it happens, man. Wait, Mark H says Yarby goal tomorrow. I feel it, Mark, my guy. <laughs> the vibes would be through the roof. Um, all right, guys, that's gonna do it. Thank you so much for jumping in the comments. It, it it really takes you guys coming in on emergency pods like this to really help make it happen. Oh, Cody, Cody yeah, ninety me. plus Cody three with me. Let's go. I love it, Cody. Um, Wanners, go ahead and plug what you got to plug. Uh, at Warners FC, at C38SG, and then at GAM underscore MLS for some bets. If you want to put in a bet right now, Philadelphia Union over one and a half goals at minus 130. I'm putting Easy. two units on that. Easy. Easy money. Dwayne, what you got? DMVR merch. Thanks, your man. DMVR That's rapid plug. scarf, like, man. It. That scarf Great is merch. fire, and we got some. I got the... Uh... Champions. The Avs Champions sure. shirt. There's so much stuff at DMVR Locker right now. Like, it's insane. Check it out. Why you have a time? Love that. Love that. 
Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and plug away, bud. Uh, you can see my Twitter handle if you want to see, uh, have some really bad sport takes or really mad sports <laughs> takes. You can always follow Yaselina me. Yaselina flows strong on the Twitter timeline. Uh, sometimes, depending what it is. But also just follow us at DNVR underscore Rapids and always tune into the pods weekly and uh, after every game. Yeah, guys, make sure you're, you are subscribed to DNVR Sports on YouTube. Like the videos, please. It helps the algorithm a bunch. Really appreciate when that happens. So if you're still here, go ahead and throw a thumbs up. Uh, get to DNVR Sports. Uh, it's also get good your to membership. see a lot of people in the comments, man. Ton Thanks, of people. Mark. Everyone, yeah, awesome. everyone here. Everyone here having a good time talking rapids, Seriously. talking Mac. Kind of. This is what we do. You know, like. It's funny because on Twitter, everyone's such much more aggressive. And here we're just like, <laughs> that's the goal, man. Like that's what we're here for. Yeah, this is what we're here for. So, um, guys, thank you so much. Make sure you have your subscription, DMVR Sports. Uh, buy your T-shirts. Follow me on Twitter, Mitch underscore underscore Carol. We're going to get that check mark, baby, by the end of the year. And uh, you guys know, above all of that, what do we say? Up the pig. Up the pids. Up the pits.